Tell me what is wrong with that speech. Did you think that the framework is wrong? Is there anything that you think he could do to improve? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> Resign. I think he's beyond salvation. I couldn't live with myself if, having been given the chance to serve, I put the enjoyment of office before the power to do good. Secretary of State for Education is a totalitarian pig. I, I think if you hadn't trebled I university think... fees, then a lot more students no, 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 from no, no, all no. backgrounds would be prepared to go to university. Actually... Was that enough opinion? Michael Gove is with me now. The Education Secretary, Michael Gove. Michael Gove. Michael Gove. Michael Gove. Over the past two years, Britain's education system has been changing, and not many believe it has been for the better. Michael Gove, Educational Minister, has been making several controversial alterations to the system and is the cause for widespread anger in the public. The cause of this campaign is simple. What we aim to do is raise enough awareness in the general public about Michael Gove that people demand that he spends a minimum of one month as a teacher in a comprehensive school before being allowed to have any more influence on the educational system. in the field of education before he was employed as Educational Minister? Um, I wasn't aware of it, it surprise me. I knew he was a, a newspaper editor or something at the time. Yes, he was a journalist before. Do you feel that his role as Educational Minister so far has had a positive or a negative effect on education in this country? Um, I think he's caused quite a lot of turmoil without probably any positives so far. Is there anything you think he could do to improve? Um, it's hard to say because I don't have that much involvement. There are some who are campaigning for him to teach a full term in a comprehensive school before he can make any more changes to the educational system. Would you agree that this is necessary, perhaps? Uh, maybe not a full term, but definitely I think he needs to teach, uh, particularly in comprehensive schools. So, imagine he's Sir, are you involved in education? Uh, teaching medical students is part of my job as well. Are you aware that Michael Gove had no experience in the field of education before he was employed as an educational minister? Uh, it's become fairly obvious since he became minister. Do you feel that his role as Educational Minister has so far had a positive or negative effect on education in this country? <laughs> Why do you say that? He doesn't seem to understand... He doesn't seem to understand education. He doesn't seem like most of the current government doesn't actually understand the real world, certainly as a doctor looking after the patients of South East London. None of them seem to understand the population that live on their doorstep. Uh, and he is busy making a lot of ill thought through changes, which is distracting from what teachers should be doing. I understand. Is there anything that you think he could do to improve in his own ways? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> Resign. I think he's beyond salvation. 
There are some who are campaigning for him to teach a full term in a comprehensive school before he can make any more changes to the education system. Would you agree that this is necessary? I think that would be fun. Um, I, think it would be, I think even if he actually spent a week trying to teach in the, in the school, that would probably teach him something that he's taking because at the moment he's only ever taught at least he's only taught one lesson or close to a day and that's 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 the only experience he's ever had as a teacher which is rather bemusing and well actually this is i mean this this that leads to a wider issue is that politicians today on the whole are career politicians and they have done something else so i'm old enough to remember when politicians came into politics after they'd often had a career doing something else and, and therefore understood the world and I think the real problem actually with modern politics is that most senior politicians actually don't really know what happens outside the rest of the school. Uh, so, putting my go to the school would be very good. Thank you very much for your time. Hi Tom, thanks for coming today, well, I really appreciate it. Now, I believe you've been principal of the college for about eight years, is that correct? Yes, just over eight years, eight and a half years. I see. And in that space of time, there have been many changes to the way things run in a place of education. Is there anything in particular you outline as one of the most important changes to the educational system or that has had the largest effect? The greatest effects are really coming in now. Um, I've been principal since 2005 and under Michael Gove the biggest change is coming in now. In particular changes to GCSEs and A-levels. So although there have been changes in recent years, 2015 is going to be a major change for education. So in fact we, we are yet to see the changes. To, to an extent, uh, for the last few years, it's been fairly gradual changes, fairly minimal changes. Why do you say 2015 in particular? Because in 2015, GCSEs changed, so people coming to us uh, from schools coming in with a very different type of qualification, which are far less coursework. That's one of the things that we want to ask about. And also for A levels, though, starting in 2015, they'll be going on to two year courses, so most of them will not be taking AS levels, they'll just do exams at the end of two years, again, with much less coursework. Right. Well, our social action video is, is on Michael Gove and the way yeah. he's changed the educational yeah. system. I appreciate that in your position you can't give a personal view on the way he's been changing things, but are there any aspects that you don't agree with? For example, his abolishment of coursework and the introduction of 100% exam courses. I think for many people, exams are a very good way to find out how good people are at a certain subject, but there are many others who find it very difficult, and coursework is a much better test of how people are doing. And in the world of work, you won't be sitting exams, you'll be doing work, working with others, working in teams. And I think the danger is that he's throwing out some of the ways of assessing people which have been very successful. Uh, so many people would come here, they've taken GCSEs, not done that well, but they do a coursework based course and they do far better than go off to university. Yeah. And many universities have a lot of coursework elements as well. So I think to get rid of coursework will adversely affect lots of young people who will no longer be able to go off to university or get the careers they hope to have. So that is a very worrying step. But there are others who will not be affected who find exams a perfect way of being mm -hmm. tested. Mm -hmm. Does anything, you, you mentioned that um, in particular it was um, schools and GCSEs at, um, at, at schools. Does anything he's doing have a direct effect on um, sixth form colleges in the country? Well, the change to GCSE will affect the, the students coming here because if they become more difficult, then there'll be fewer students who can take courses we offer here at advanced level, so that will have an impact. There will be perhaps an effect um, on terms of the numbers of people coming here uh, because they won't qualify, but we just don't know the impact if it's changed to GCSE. But we also know the changes after 60 will have a very big impact on the number of people who take certain courses. So there's been a move to more traditional A-levels here, maths, science, uh, English, which may be the right thing, and fewer people doing performing arts or art type courses whereas they might be more suited to those courses. So things are changing that will have a major impact on this college. Okay. Well, now I'd like to know how long you were in education before you ascended to the role of principal uh, at the college. Um, being in charge of such a large group of students and educators and their futures, I presume you must have a, a wealth of experience. I've been in education now for 34 years. Wow. Uh, for the first part of that was teaching in schools. Yes in colleges, so yes, I have quite a wealth of experience, and I think that's uh, a very good experience. And I think starting off as a teacher is very, very important, because you do see what it's actually like working tremendously long hours, preparing classes, marking, standing in front of classes, and I think that's a really good preparation for if you want to become a principal.
principal well, or senior manager in the college. Well, you've anticipated my next question, which was, do you believe that being a teacher before you became principal helped you to understand to fulfil the yeah. role? And it's clear I think, that you do. I do, I do think that's very important. Uh, there are some people who've come in from other uh, other work parts of life, other professions, but I think it gives you some credibility with your teaching staff that you've actually been a teacher yourself. Mm -hmm. But I think it gives you an understanding of how young people work, how uh, they like to learn, and I think it's a very, very important preparation. Okay. One last thing then. How do you feel about the proposal that Mr. Gove spends a minimum of a month as a teacher in a comprehensive school before he can continue to take on the role of educational minister? I think it, it might be useful, but I think some education secretaries, I would mention perhaps David Blunkett, who was a Labour, the first Labour uh, education secretary under Tony Blair, he had, I mean, he had spent some time in education, but you don't really need to spend a month, but I think you can have a greater understanding of what it's like being in the classroom without having to spend a month. But I think one of Michael Gove's problems, I think, he doesn't understand vocational courses. He's talked about GCSEs, he's talked about A-levels, but he doesn't have an understanding of vocational courses. Uh, spending a month in a comprehensive school might have helped. I think his uh, experience is perhaps somewhat limited and certainly be much better if he had perhaps visited more schools or spent some more time thinking about some of the issues he's been talking about. But yes, it could be a way forward, but uh, um, very few education secretaries, as Del Morris was one, have, had, have actually had any teaching experience at all. They just come in from any other background. They just, he was a journalist before yes, coming yes, into yes. education, so he had no real understanding. Some people pick it up more quickly perhaps than he has. Okay, well thank you very much for your time. Okay, okay that's talk. great. Based on what you've seen, do you believe that Michael Gove is the right choice for our Educational Minister?